Minecraft 1.13 preparation project. There is nothing down here. Yet. Check back after the 1.13 upgrade. Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. This is a very long tunnel. We're in the nether. You've seen part of this. Uh, we're about, a th we're coming up on a thousand blocks out uh, from the community portal. And that's not even halfway there. This is a tunnel that's like 2,500 blocks long. Which I think me, oh hey, there's a gas that was stuck. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is a very long tunnel. I have a rail that runs down it. It's a section that will turn off because I want to go do some exploring. And I may not actually be particularly well prepared to do said exploring. Anyway, um, so the idea is here that when we get down to the end, I will add another portal. And after I upgrade the server to 1.13, I will build that portal, light it, and step on through. And hopefully, at that point, we will be far enough away from all sort of explored, already generated chunks that we get new new terrain. That's the idea, at least. Um, and it's entirely possible that pop out and guess what? We're at like Woodland Mansion or, you know, something that we've already sort of explored. I didn't really double check to see if these this uh, paired up with coordinates but 2500 blocks oh fiddle faddle it's 20,000 blocks in the overworld so I am running after my minecart it will stop up here because we have a spot where we come across a another fortress and I kind of want to explore it a little bit let me get up there and we will go play so here's the nether fortress, a little dead end over here, but this up here with the giant pillar of lava, not optimal. There's a spot up here though, where it's a big fortress and it comes up here and the minecart stops because we cross another bridge. There we go. So we can pop out here. Oh, no, look, there's a, there's a wither skeleton. Very nice. Okay, I need a few things, so I'm going. Uh, so I'm going to uh, have them down here. So, hang on a sec. And here we are, end of the line. Right here is 2,500 blocks. Very nice. Now this is way up in the air and. Building the minecart station in the sun gets a little bit more complicated here because I have to go down one level. Um, so I'll have to jump down there and build up if that's what I want to do. Um, I don't know what else is down here. I don't know if this will even let me see. I'm kind of at a layer, at a level that's not super convenient for what I'm trying to do. Um, yeah, looks like there's not a whole lot there. Okay. Oh well, very nice. Anyway, so if I decide to move along, I will. Uh, but I probably am thinking, no, I'll just build it right there. And the reason why I'm thinking that is today is the 15th of July. And I think um, the Minecraft well, they released uh, pre-release eight this week, and it, they're just down to bug fixes. Well, that looks dramatic. I don't know what's going on over there. So I think they're getting super close, and I, every week the chances increase tremendously that this week will be the week that 1.13 is released. So I have a feeling like come Wednesday or so, they might just go ahead and, and release it. So, if that's the case, then I want to be ready to test the server. 
upgrade a couple things. Oops, no, 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 no. And, and update. This isn't super convenient. This gargantuan lava fall is a being a problem, and there's a there's a blaze spawner right there. We're in a bad spot. I'm gonna save this uh, fortress for exploring later. I think. Like I can get up here. We can take a peek at least. lava everywhere. It's been a while since I found a, a completely unlooted nether fortress. Oh, that just goes back to around there. So th this is kind of lame. Oh, and there's another blaze spawner up there. Blue chest. Ow. You can die. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Hey. Who's shooting? Oh, lovely. Great loot. Okay. Okay, let's get out of here if I can remember. Oh, hello. Uh, go up here and go up the stairs and around. Okay, we're good. Okay. Lava, lava, lava. We'll just go down here. Very, very nice. Okay. In the 1.13 snapshots, they keep messing with the way withers work in uh, amongst bedrock so wither cages get more difficult from what I understand so and I have pop I have some withers uh, skeleton skulls so let's go ahead and convert those into another nether star and then we can make a couple more beacons because you can never have enough beacons Hello, Mr. Weather. And there we go. Boop. Do you hear what I hear? I hear slimes. So this is the original slime farm that I built on the server. It's double slime chunk. And 
It's a completely passive design. It's very old, uses la uh, not lava, but it uses cactus to kill the slimes. And it just sort of relies on the slimes to wander off the platforms. And I guess I'm too close now. Oh, there's, there's one. You can do it, buddy. Jump! Jump! See, they just kind of... You can do it. Yes, you can do it. They can just kind of wander around randomly if they're not in range of anything to get aggro at. So now he's coming down here, and the water will push him down into this cactus. And then there's hoppers to pick him up. And I've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, six spawning layers here. And I think the top one is, I think the top one is, is, will actually work. Let's see here. Can I do this? Yeah, we're looking at 38. So it's just inside the range of where the, the, the spawn, the slimes will spawn. It's a tongue twister. Um, so this isn't the fastest farm design in the world and I guess the cactus do actually destroy some of the slime balls even though if you come down here and watch it doesn't exactly look like it but I guess it will destroy some percentage of the slime balls so even having hoppers all around like that isn't necessarily going to pick them all up so this isn't a great farm design uh, but it works and it uh, it just sort of passively does its thing, and it works while I'm in in my base, and it works while I'm in the artificial village. So it just kind of does its thing, and every now and then I come over and, and make slime blocks out of all the slime balls. And I have plenty more slime that I've collected from it upstairs. So when this when I get a full row here and then a little bit I'll turn it into another stack of slime blocks I mean I don't need that much slime but Barb makes things does I do like the merry-go-round oh it's a squid mary it's a squid and a snowman very nice so this is the amusement park and this tree over here we've looked at before but it keeps growing. And oh my gosh. Look at that. It's crazy. That's very cool. All leaves and glowstone. And down here, a lot of slime. A lot, a lot of slime. Whoa. Look at that. Ow. Um. And another layer of slime down here. Whoa! Oh, that's fun. But that's a lot of slime. So Barb Banks Things decided to make a, a slime farm of her own. And let's, I think it's down here. Let's go find it. Oh, there's slime. Look. Whoa! Whoa, that's that's not in the least bit helpful. It's appropriate theme wise, but nice. So here's the slime farm. It's got a slime chunk. And she's using the uh magma cube or magma block. And oh oh goodness gracious. Wow. She mentioned something about this. That's that's kinda crazy. Uh, so yeah, so this is using the uh, iron golems to pull the magma cubes off of the platforms, get them aggro on the on the iron golems, and oh, oh, she's got glass here. Oh, that's disconcerting with the light colored glass. Okay, so where's the output? So anyway, the the magma cream kills. The, the, the slimes pretty quickly and you don't get any loss of oops, you don't get any loss of uh, drops because the uh, the magma blocks do not destroy items so the minecarts the hopper minecarts are able to pick them up see output over here let's go see 
Nice. Oh, a full shulker box of slime blocks. That's that's very nice. So this is definitely more productive than my little passive slime farm. Look at that. Just been working on uh, lighting up caves and all that good stuff. And it should help with the productivity. So this is pretty cool. So what's over here? Is it just supplies? Yeah, just supplies. Okay. Some slime. And... Nice! So anyway, this is... Higher, higher efficiency slime farm. Oh, hello little buddy. You made your way out of the farm. Thought you were gonna get me. Let's close that. Oh, this is super disconcerting with the light gray. Oh. I thought, I thought my little uh, black glass uh, nether floor bedrock was uh, was bad over by the my big dig area, but goodness gracious! Over here at the iron farm, we are starting to run out of iron. So we've, we've gone through about half that iron, and the the u rate of use has uh, gone up considerably. So I think we're going to have to do something about that. But I think that's all. Oops. That was a waste of rockets. That's all we have time for today. Uh, we will continue. Oh, there's uh, Larax's new place. He's built a few layers up and added another portal, which is pretty cool. So, oh, he's got farms. Huh. Yeah. Very nice. Build a little, little skyscraper. I think that's kind of cool. Anyway, I think that's it. I will get back to uh, the tunnel side if we dig that out further. It'll partly depend on whether 1.13 comes out uh, this week or not. But got a couple other things in mind to work on. Oh, you got some armor. Oh, go up. There we go. Ooh, three-point landing. Very nice. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. Bye.